Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D CAD model in Autodesk Inventor software and learn the Autodesk Inventor basic commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now here take a 2D sketch. We'll start from the top plane. So we'll select the exit plane, rotate the view. Here take the rectangle command and take a two point center rectangle. Select the center point, make a rectangle profile, go to dimension, define the width of this rectangle as 140 mm and the height here will be defined as 120 mm. Okay. Now finish sketch, take extrude command and here we are going to take extrude of 12 mm. This will be a single side extrude and press OK. Okay. Now go to part 1. Here you can see a chamfer profile being cut on all the edges. When I see from top, this will look like this. Okay. Go to home. Now go back to the part we are constructing. Here for that we will take the chamfer command. In this we have three type of chamfers. This is the equal chamfer. This is chamfer with distance distance and angle and here if you have two distance so i have two distance here first distance i will mention as 26 mm and the second one will be 15 mm okay now here drag this and i'll put first on this edge okay so go to top here you can see the 15 mm will be this and 26 mm will be this. Okay. When I'll apply it. Okay. Now if I apply the same here. So it will switch chamfer in the opposite direction. So the profile will change completely. It will take 15 mm this and 26 mm this. So this chamfer will be applied diagonally. One here and one here. Okay. When I so I'll deselect this okay and select this diagonal edge so it will give the same output as this one okay and apply now I'll change the chamfer distance 15 and this will be 26 okay now I'll select the edges I'll select this edge now here I'll select this edge Okay, it will select only one edge at a time, apply and now this edge, sorry, this edge and ok. Ok, now go to the top view, now here you can see all the profiles are looking same. Now we are going to construct the top profiles, for the top profiles select this face, go to create sketch, now here take the rectangle command and take a two point rectangle. Make one rectangle profile here and make another rectangle profile here. Okay. Go to dimension. Define the width of this dimension as 5 and this also as 5. Okay. Now here from center, the outer edge will be at 20 mm. Okay. Similarly, from center, this outer edge will be also at 20 m okay now go to 3d model take extrude select both the profiles go to the home view here we are going to take extrude of 25 mm and press ok okay now go to part one here we have constructed this path and this profile now we are going to construct the cutting edges this cutting profiles Go to part 1 once again, select this face, go to create sketch, take the circle command and here I will make a circle of diameter 35, similarly I will make one circle here of diameter 12, enter and one circle here of diameter 12. Now here I will define the 
positions go to dimension from this edge this will be at a distance of 9.5 mm okay from side edge this will be at distance of 20 okay and from top edge this will be at a distance of 11 okay now from side edge this will be at a distance of 20 and scale now we will constrain these both circles with the help of constraints which are present here I will take a vertical constraint select the center point of circle and select this center point of part so this position is locked similarly now I will take horizontal constraint select the center point and select the center point so this will be aligned at 11 mm now finish sketch go to extrude select all the three profiles and held I'll take cut and this will be all so this will be a through cut from all the profiles and press ok ok now the next which we are going to make are the ribs from here you will see your rib profile here and rib profile at corners ok so these are of different thickness and this thickness is different good part one once again for the rib profiles first go to plane take offset from plane select this face I want a new plane inside so I'll take offset of minus 50 mm so the plane will shift inside press ok now select this plane go to create sketch here take the line command ok from this top edge till this edge will make a taper line go to view visual style change it to var ok go to sketch go to dimension here this dimension will be 25 mm ok so this will be automatically defined as 25 ok if it is not defined you can give the dimension now finish sketch ok we don't want this yellow profiles ok they are projected profiles by the software double click sketch 4 and here select this profile and select this profile go to construction geometry and finish sketch take here the rib profile ok and here I will switch to parallel to sketch plane so a rib will be constructed go to view visual style change it to shaded edges ok and the thickness of this rib will be 10 mm I have taken the thickness from center so 5 mm this side and 5 mm this side press ok ok so this will look like this now I want rib at this edges so I would not be able to use the rib command ok so I will make a sketch over here select this face go to create sketch take the line command select this corner select this select here and select here finish sketch go to 3d model take extrude here I will flip the direction and take a rip thickness as 5 mm and press ok ok now the other thing now we have made two ribs over here I want all others by the help of this select this plane first right click turn off the visibility now here we will take the mirror feature and select extrude 4 and rib 1 go to mirror plane go to origin and here we will select the visor plane so these two ribs are been constructed please ok now go to mirror feature once again select all the four ribs now ok rotate the profile go to mirror plane selection and this time we will select the xy plane and press ok so the ribs are been constructed over here as well ok now we are going to construct the mounting holes so we are going to construct these holes from top view we have here the 7 number of holes 4 are through holes and these 3 are at a depth ok go to home now go to the construction part 
select this face go to create sketch here take the rectangle command and take here two point center rectangle i'll change it to construction so the profile which will generate it will be in construction inventory or dotted profile select the center point and big one rectangle here now switch off the construction profile now here go to dimension from the outer edge this will be at a distance of 20 okay and the total height here will be of 84 mm okay go to circle make here a circle of diameter 12 enter similarly here also dia 12 this side as well 12 and this circle also of dia 12 now we want these middle three circles okay so for the middle circles also here i will make circle of 11.5 dia at center one circle will be created at 11.5 dia and one circle here at 11.5 dia okay these circles are not at 20 m otherwise we we would have made them at this line go to dimension define the dimension from corner edge at 15 mm okay and this also at 15 mm and escape now here we have defined this corner edge but we have not defined this movement okay and for this also this movement is not constrained so go to horizontal constraint select this center point select this center point Similarly, select the center and select the center. Okay. Now finish sketch. Now here go to extrude. We will not select all the circles here. Select the four circles first. Okay. So third and fourth. Flip the direction. And here we will take all. So this will be a through cut here. Press OK. When I rotate the profile, you can see the through cut. Now the sketch has been hidden. Go to extrude 5, select sketch 6, here turn on the visibility, go to extrude, select the middle 3 circles, flip the direction, so it will change to cut, the depth of cut will be 5 mm and press ok. Now select sketch 6, turn off the visibility, go to home view, so this will be the final part. Now here I will define the appearance. You can take any color. I have taken here the blue. So this will be the final product. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a 3D part model in Autodesk Inventor for beginners. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.